So if you could just focus in on um, one, the biggest challenge facing volunteerism. Whether it's the biggest challenge or not, I think there are two or three really, really big challenges. But one issue that comes up in the Global Review is the payment of volunteering, uh, the payment of volunteers and paid volunteering. The data in our Global Review show that that is increasingly to do with, and it's not uniform and it's not the same everywhere, but often it is to do with um, donors wanting to deliver a project quickly. They need a readily available source of labour that is quite flexible. And to do that, rather than employing people, volunteers will be engaged and they will be paid. That creates all sorts of really difficult challenges. There's a challenge about, is this still volunteering? Which is a really big picture question. But what that also is doing is creating hierarchies between volunteers. So some volunteers on one kind of project will be paid. Other volunteers who are doing a different kind of work, perhaps rural community-based activity, which is longer term, will not get a salary or not be paid. There are difficulties around the whole language of this. Is it payment? Is it a per diem? Is it training? Is it whatever? But these hierarchies are a real problem because once you start doing that, it means that some types of volunteering will become much less attractive. You also create hierarchies between organizations. So some organizations can afford to pay or offer really good remuneration and others can't. That's not necessarily a sign of the value of the work each of them is doing, but a sign of whether that work is attracting donor money. So these hierarchies, I think, are a real, real challenge. And the data we have, particularly from interviewees in the Global South, saying this is undermining the spirit of volunteerism. That won't be the same everywhere, and we need to unpack what it means. I think in terms of what needs to happen, I don't think anything like enough is happening about this. I think it's almost become a taboo subject. Because as soon as you open the kind of box about this, you're almost saying, well, we accept payment's going to happen, so what do we do? And many people would say there should be no payment whatsoever. My personal view is it's happening and it's creating problems we're not really anticipating. So when we look at does it work in the context of a project to retain volunteers, you know, paying people and having good remuneration means you can keep people, therefore the project works well, okay, great. But if you look outside a single project and across donor community, across the donor community and across volunteer using organizations, then we have a much more complicated picture.